There's never really been any great worry of if it would return, it will return, and it already has. So Midstable Quarter was set up officially in 2018. It was set up as a community benefit society, the basic vision being to take properties, empty properties, in the High Street of Dumfries into community ownership. We're really excited to uh, work with DMC um, on the Plaza event and these spaces, I mean, these buildings have been empty for a long time. This particular building we've called the Press and it was what used to be Dinwiddie's um, stationers and it had uh, behind it um, workshops which were the, essentially the, the print works and these buildings haven't been used for, well, I mean, coming on 20 years. So it's really exciting for us to provide the opportunity for local people to come and see what's behind the high street. These buildings that you wouldn't normally get access to and actually appreciate the potential that they've got. My name is Hagen Patterson, I'm Operations Manager at DMC and I'm also the Plaza Project Coordinator. The Plaza is a DIY pop-up music venue that is a unique experience for live music in Dumfries Town. Pop-up venues are a must, it's what more small towns need to do, especially after Covid. Uh, the approach is DIY and also DIT, so do it yourself and do it together. So here in Dumfries, definitely COVID has um, sparked that approach and doing more things creatively together. Everybody went to the dance halls. There was quite a variety actually. My name is John Day, right? And I was uh, a vocalist guitarist with the Vulcans. We had another keyboard player who he sung and we had a bass player and a drummer. And the music we played was just the charts, you know whatever was going at the time. The best dance for proper dancing was the plaza. It was right on the high street, believe it or not. Just down from Woolies. I can remember my mum saying to me, when I told her I was going to play at the plaza, she said that she used to go dancing when she was in her late teens and early twenties because she loved proper dancing. Proper ballroom dancing, actually. You do the quick step and, and fox trot and Latin American. That's the way it was in them days. We've come back after a long time uh, being without live music. And in order for us to take that next step forward um, for live music, we're looking for a lo-fi um, you know, type event where we have seated uh, a seated venue at low capacity. So having just sonically uh, a lo-fi night, it's it's got to work. Uh, present company excluded in the night. Uh, present company included in the fight. Essentially, I am looking to uh, find music provision spaces within Dumfries Town Centre and beyond. I'm looking to showcase uh, around about nine events throughout the year in really cool underground spaces that Dumfries has to offer.
It's really important for us to sort of consider the environment that artists are put in. Um, so for example, here at the press, um, it's very rustic, it's very artisan almost. So we look for, for artists uh, in particular who are sort of carrying that through their, their aesthetic and their approach to music. I remember being on the stage, it's quite high, the stage, and you're looking right down on the audience, and then you're looking up in the balcony, and they're all looking down. <laughs> Our headline band is the Bookshop Band, who are from Lincolnshire. Um, we have also got uh, Sarah Jane Scouten, um, who is a singer-songwriter from Money Eye. And we all have the uh, young Jodie Ray, who is our emerging uh, and most promising artist here in Dumfries Town. I think this DIY pop-up venue is a really creative way to make use of the space. I think it's brilliant to actually just make a performance happen anywhere. I think that's yeah, there's a lot of worth in that. The music industry was on its knees. It was the first to shut and it was the last to open. I'm immensely proud to be part of this movement because that's exactly what it is. For a long time we've been missing this with London Priest Town music scene. Um, and this is just the start of it. You know, the Plaza project's just one thing. What's about to be unleashed is something completely different. Hustle bustle, you know, when the pubs came out and then people were laughing and joking and singing and all the rest of it. And then and, and all go their ways to the different dance halls they were going to go in. I used to go and see the other groups that came, listening to really good bands, even. They were, they were just breaking into the big time, you know, so they're good. 